Welcome to our unit on cost analysis. In this unit, we will look at cost being a fundamental aspect in economics. Cost analysis basically will involve examining various cost components that a firm may incur during its operations. Now, these costs really play a very crucial role, especially in determining the pricing strategy that a firm may choose to adopt. In terms of uh, profit margins, in terms of business efficiency, cost analysis is essential. So I'll break down costs in terms of the following elements or fixed costs. What are these? Total costs, what are they? Average costs, marginal costs, the concepts behind there. So when you're dealing with fixed costs, basically we are looking at the expenses that do not change with production or with output levels both in the short or long run. So these costs may remain constant regardless of whether the firm is producing one unit or a thousand units. For instance, what examples of fixed costs do we know? We have rent, salaries, insurance premiums, regardless of your production, these ones will be constant. Variable costs, on the other hand, refer to costs or expenses that vary directly with production. For instance, as the production increases, the variable costs will increase. Examples would be raw materials, labor costs, utility expenses. These ones are directly related to production. The more you utilize them, the higher the average or the variable costs. We also have the total costs, which are actually the combination of a fixed and variable costs. So total costs will usually encompass these two. It is a complete cost that a firm will incur to produce a particular service or quantity. We also have average costs, which are simply the unit costs of production. We have three average costs. We have average fixed costs, which are the fixed costs divided by quantity of output. We also have average fixed costs, which are given by the total variable cost over the quantity. We also have the average total cost, which is given by the total cost over quantity. And then finally, we have the marginal costs, which are additional costs incurred when producing one additional unit of a good or service. So this marginal cost will help us make decisions about production because every additional unit we're going to produce in a firm will incur a certain cost. So these are very essential to understand under cost analysis. So fixed costs I've already explained. They are fixed and constant. Variable costs, they change with the, the volume of production. This is how it looks. Total cost is simply given by adding the fixed cost and the variable cost. So these Costs come in three types, the average fixed cost, the average variable cost, and average total cost. And the formulas are given by the total fixed cost over output. This is average fixed cost. Anything total divided by quantity is average. So the total variable cost over output is average variable cost. All right. They are usually U-shaped, um, influenced by the three stages of production. So in stage one, the marginal product is always increasing whilst the average variable cost is falling. In stage two, the marginal product is falling whilst the average variable cost begins to rise. In stage three, the marginal product uh, is usually negative whilst the average variable cost is sharply creating a U-shape. This is how these uh, curves apply in the three stages of production. And when dealing with the average total cost, it's simply found by the dividing the total cost over quantity. Now, these formulas make sense when you're writing them. So I said total fixed total cost, who remembers, is total variable cost over what? Plus total fixed cost. Right? Then if we divide the total cost over quantity, the T becomes an A, so this is average total cost. Divide the total variable cost over quantity, the T becomes an A, this is average variable cost. 
and you divide the total fixed cost of a quantity, the A replaces the T, average fixed cost. So if you have a function, for instance, total cost is equal to 40 plus 5Q. The total cost is this part here, which the fixed cost is a constant part, variable cost is what? The one with the letter. So the change in total cost over the change in quantity is actually what we call the marginal cost. Precisely, if we have a scenario where we have following output is given by one, two, three, four, five. Then we have the um be given that output, what else could we be given? The total cost. Right? Total fixed cost, total variable cost. So if we're given total um cost, fixed cost, total fixed cost, total variable cost, total cost. All right. Average fixed cost, average variable cost. Average cost and the marginal cost. This is under cost theory. For instance, we have what? The fixed cost. Fixed cost costs are usually fixed. So if we have um, 10, 10, 10, for instance. Okay, then we are told that the variable cost is what? Maybe 2Q. So here, by this Q, we're going to put a 1. So 2 times 1 is what? 2. Here, where this Q, we're going to put a 2. Okay, 2 times 2 is going to be 4. Here, we're going to put a 3, we're going to have 6. Here, we're going to put 4, we're going to have 8. Here, we're going to put 5, we're going to have a 10. And the total costs will now be when you add the fixed cost plus the variable cost. Here we have 12, 14, here we have what 16, here we have what 18, and here we have 20. That is how we find that. Then the average, we say whenever we divide the fixed cost divided by quantity, this is average. So 1 into 10, 10, 2 into 10, 5, 3 into 10, 2.3. 4 into 10, 2.5, 5 into 10, 2. By simply dividing the total fixed cost over the quantity. Average variable cost, we're dividing this over quantity. So here we're going to have 2. Then here we're going to have 2, 2, 2, 2 throughout. This is dividing the quantity into the variable. Then the average cost, which is also called the average total cost. Is when you divide the total cost of a quantity. So 12 divided by 1 is 12. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Alternatively, you simply add the two average costs, they make the total cost. So 10 plus 2 is 12. 5 plus 2 is 7. 3.3 plus 2 is what? 5.3. 2.5 plus 2 is what? 4.5. 4 plus 4 is what? 2 plus 2 is 4. Like I said, our total average total cost is in the total cost over quantity. So we can call this column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, column six, column seven, column eight. So how are we finding column seven? It's simply column what? Column four over column one. Are we finding average variable cost? Column three over column one. Average fixed cost? Column two over column one. 
So the marginal cost is the tax rate of fines are different between. So 12 minus nothing, one minus nothing, this one is actually a dash. Then here, 12 minus uh, 14 minus 12 is a 2 divided by 2 minus 1, so 1. So 1 into 2, it is 2. 16 minus 14 is a 2. 3 minus 2 is a 1. So 1 into 2, we get a 2. 16 minus, uh, 18 minus 16 is a 2. 4 minus 3 is a 1. So 1 into 2, it's a, again a 2. 20 minus uh, 18 is a 2. 5 minus 4 is a 1. So 1 into 2 is a 2. So coincidentally, we have 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 throughout. Now, let me take you to last year's exam paper. This was carrying how many marks? 10 marks complete the table. So you need to know the missing figures there. So let's try. How do we find that? Who wants to try? So we know that this was found by adding this and that. So you need to use wherever, uh, whatever is, um, okay. So we need to complete this table. So we can start from here. Marginal cost is the difference between, so when you add 15 to the 110, what do we get? 120 what? 125, it was a difference. This minus that divided by this minus that is 15. That's where the 15 is coming. So meaning 130 minus 125 over Ukma 1. So the difference is it really doesn't matter. So this minus that, what do we get? A 10. Colin, so, sorry, go back to how we got 125. 125, we added. The 15 to the 110 because we know this is marginal cost. Remember, marginal cost is what? Change in total cost over change in what? Change in quantity. So for this 15 to be there, there should have been a difference of this and 15 to get this one. So change to 125 minus uh, 10 is 15 divided by. 4 minus 3 is 15. So that is how we get this 15. So this 15 was there. So I simply add the 15 to that to get this. Okay. Right. Then how was this one gotten? The fixed cost. Or we can say we need to use like special paper one. Okay. We're amending the missing figures. So, what else can we use the weak link? So, what else is a weak link? The cost, which is fixed, we know that fixed costs don't change, they're fixed throughout. So even whilst closing your eyes, you're going to put 10 throughout. So if this is fixed cost, so when you add this and that, the fixed cost, um, no, the fixed costs are what? Yeah. Not these ones here. The fixed costs are this column here. So how do we get the fixed cost? So the average fixed cost, so average, so this will give us an idea of this one. We know that average fixed cost is the total cost divided by quantity. So for us to get this, we multiply these two. This times that one is called with 50. So this will open up a lot of windows. So meaning 50 divided by five, that's where the 10 is coming from. Now this will give us an idea of this being throughout 50. You get it? 50. Yes. Now that being done, so this plus that fixed cost plus variable cost 
what would it help us find here? The total cost, which is what? 100. Is that clear? Yes. So that to give us that. This question was not easy. You needed to think a lot. Now, how do we find the average variable cost here? Divide the average fixed cost, we divide the total fixed cost over 100. So here we're going to have what? 25. All right, together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this will also help us open this window here. We know that um, the total cost is 130. So we subtract these two, 130 minus 50 to get the remainder here, which is the variable cost, because these two must add up to that. Is that clear? So here, 80 plus 50 is giving us 130. Yes. All right. It's giving us that. So let's keep thinking. What other box? This is like special paper tool. What other box do you think we can manage to identify? Similarly here, if these two must add up what? 105, so what is remaining here? Subtract this from there. So 50 from that, what are we getting? So in fact, this column or to subtract these ones here. You can start from me. 80 minus 50 is what? Eight. So this Eight. Is that. 50 minus 50, this is okay. 110 minus 50, this is what? 60. Okay. 125 minus uh 50. What do we get? 25. Pardon? 25. 25, correct. Mm -hmm. So now we're remaining with a few boxes here. So how do we find the average fixed cost? It's simply the total fixed cost over quantity. So this and that is 50. 50 divided by that is 25. 50 divided by three, what do we get? One, remainder two. Two into 20 is what? Six point six seven. Okay, then again four into that one. What we get? One remainder what? One of five. So we are done with this column. Now, how are we getting these figures? Imagine you know, the difference in the total cost. The total cost is here. So the first one is always a dash because there's nothing there. So 100 minus uh, 80, what do we get? 20. 20. 110 minus 100, what do we get? 10. 125 minus uh, 110, what do we get? 15. 130 yeah. minus uh, uh, 25. 130. And as in five, what do we get? Answer five. It's a five. So this one was not correct. We're supposed to put a five. Okay. So that is uh that's clear. Yes. So this is how we're supposed to get the 10 marks. So this very question will be your homework. I will end my class here. Unless there are any questions, please ask now. Any questions? No question. Just that it was tricky. Eh? <laughs> it's a tricky question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay, thank you so much. You don't need to spend too much time to understand concepts. All right, so I'll end here.